Here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. I'm ready to get torn to shreds everywhere. These girl groups stand shouldn't react to boy group content. I agree. But what's a mother to do when a mother has to feed her kids? So here I fucking am. Here I am with an open mind, open ears. Just centering myself. Um, this is Kung. I know the performance video is going to be fantastic. Also, speaking of performance videos, very much on brand with the boy groups. Nice voice. Oh, why is it not going? Okay. Nice. Mm. I actually like this beat though. Nice. Oh, I like this. This is so. Um, oh, it was. That piano is nice. Now, okay, right. Let me give you lots of something I would like to see. Artistic, art, art, artistry. Fuck me, man. English is just so... Maybe one day I just react in Shona. My artistic direction, how I would want something like to happen because of the piano and where it kind of feels like um, fun fair, kind of like quirky, kind of whimsical. I would like it if... To be honest, I like it. I would like it if this whole thing was in a setup where they are kind of like characters and they're kind of acting in it as well. Because I think if it's going to be a performance video, I we've seen enough great dancing in performance videos. I think it's a little bit redundant. Let's perform it while still dancing, but also as an act without it being a music video. So you're still in this, like you're still in one location showing the choreography, but with like some make like some really weird makeup like clown makeup and like weird suits and like ah like joker-esque like let's do something like that because as soon as that piano came in it immediately gave me that vibe but then i'm just watching some like generic dancing video i think things like that would help establish them or establish any group i guess not just them with elevating performance videos to more than just dancing because this is not even, I think, choreo-wise, um, Tricky House was more impressive so far. Um, so I don't think it's worth just having this performance video because I don't think it's bringing anything particularly elevating. But the song is actually quite good. So this is where my confliction... C confliction? <sighs> Con... Whatever. This is where I'm having the clash, I guess. Because this is nice. I really like how this is produced. They sound great as well. Oh, I like that. Like, imagine, or even with the strings, right? Imagine that we're in a massive um, 
like an opera house and they were all dressed as like a cellist, a violinist, a, a pianist. And then, but they're all kind of like, they're doing the choreo, but then the instruments are they're like the props and they're like, like, do you know what I mean? Like it could be something so, cause the song is not matching this. Like what I'm hearing, what if I'd heard this with headphones, I would have been picturing something like, kind of like, yeah, in that vein of sinister, but like, um, uh, but classical, because it has a classical feel to it, and it's got these like, boom, 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 this momentum, I would, that would be so much more exciting as of a concept than this. Like, this is actually bringing down the song for me as a performance video. Like, no one's, no one's thinking out of the box anymore. It's like, let's, let's try and, and I think even they will perform it and get to showcase their personalities and they'll be more excited because how they're dancing, I'm not really getting much energy from them, even though it's high, it's actual, it's, it's uh, not intensive, but yeah, so it's an, it's an energetic choreo, but I don't feel them like coming at me in the screen. And I think that's because of the setup and what they've been given. They're not really having the chance to push themselves performance wise. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's that's not that didn't that didn't do him to them any service because the song was actually I didn't mind the song at all. I would give that song a five point five or six out of ten. Like the production's really nice. I like that. Also, everyone's vocal performance was so different, which was nice that everyone came with their own energy. So yeah, I would I like that. Okay, do or die. So I'm guessing this is the actual. Title track. Zombie land. Oh, okay. Sorry, my internet's. It says HD, but it's pixel lighting. No, his voice. I like where he placed that. That was nice. Such different voices. That's definitely a plus. One thing I will say, whoever was singing there, and it happens quite a lot, I think a lot of them, it sounds like it's one layer. It doesn't sound like it, they've doubled the voices or given them much, um, or reverb even. I feel like they feel very raw and very kind of like muffled and simple, which I think works, but I'm interested, um, I'd wonder what it would sound like if it was fuller. Yeah. Like that. So they've kind of left the super, so it's just the sound that they're going to go into now, like the more rocky, more rocky vibes. Hmm. 
He can dunk, yes. I like this video. Nice. Nice. Wow, that double pedal. <laughs> okay, so I like it less, but I think it's better for them. I think it's better th this direction. It feels more I mean that's not oh no I'll reverse that I like it more because I was just thinking I, I didn't like trick house at all but I know I like some bits oh so confusing but um my point is I think it's better for them to keep headed this direction because this feels a lot more um a lot more expressive um although I mean it's not, it's not that they're the only person the only group doing this sound but it's still a sound that's not as on the nose and as obvious as what the Tricky House era was, which felt way more generic. This feels a bit more like they can put their own stamp in things and grow. And it's got so many, so many places you can go with that kind of like live band rock indie sound. So do or die, I actually would objectively give it, I think I'll give it a 6.5, like in terms of objectively, subjectively to listen to it, I'll probably say it's like a five. Because I would have wanted, it felt very light. I don't know if maybe with headphones you'd hear more bass, but I would have wanted a bit more of that in there. So I'm going to do Skater as well. Um, actually, yeah, I'll do Skater as well, then I'll do the rest on Patreon. Let's do Skater. Ooh, this is nicely produced. And they use the auto tune well, like it it works. It feels consistent. Mmm. Nice. Right, right. Mmm, that bass. Ooh. But once again, this is a. This, I keep hearing this. this in, I keep hearing this in the sound in a lot of songs. This shh. It's the static in the middle. Why do producers keep putting that in? Maybe it sounds... Do you know, actually, I know why. Because I remember the producer that was on my channel, Drew, was he did say that in a, in a radio setting or out loud, that when it's loud, that sound makes it feel brighter or it just it brings a certain energy to the song. 
But when I'm listening to it a little quieter, I'm just like, I wish it wasn't there. I wish it was cleaner. But I think I would like it more with headphones. But yeah. I love that bass. It's a nice harmony. It's really the top of the synth. That's what, maybe that's what it is. Like, but I like that, I like where the synth is, shockingly. It's so nicely done. Okay, now it's gone. There we go, it's back. And I like that it's a long song. The song got to breathe. Very nice. Very nice. This is why I always give things a chance. I always give things a chance. Although I feel like I said a lot of shit earlier that's going to get me cooked. But I don't know. To me, it wasn't that bad. I was just saying what I was thinking. I'll give um, Skater uh, uh, probably a 7 or 7.5. I really like that song and I'll listen to it again. I'm going to add it to my phone because I like... The only thing I think that will make me really latch onto these songs is a, a couple more vocal hooks. Um, or ad-libs or something soft. Like the little decorations like a... Something that's just just little ear candy bits. I would like them to have some of those nice moments in there. I think it will make me love them musically a little bit more. Uh, but that was a really good, really good start. Right, we're going to do the rest on Patreon now. Peace.